Music in Bloom is an album of new music for old instruments, and we decided to call it Music in Bloom because um, we thought of this idea of, of planting seeds from which new things grow, and that is the point of writing this music for these older instruments. Um, in, in many cases, people haven't really written for them all that much in the past three or four hundred years. Um, and I think these instruments, and more importantly, these musicians, deserve to be heard, and music needs to be written for them, and I hope we can start something of a movement of uh, composers and, and, and musicians working together with these uh, period instruments. I became interested in writing for early music instruments, period instruments, because um, first and foremost, I'm a huge history nerd. Um, and I was really entranced by the idea of early music as music that was being performed in the time of all the historical figures, like music that uh, Louis XIV would have heard at his court, or music the way Mozart would have heard it on an original period instrument. I thought that was so fascinating. One of the challenges of writing for period instruments um, is sometimes they're not in a tuning system that we're used to. I mean, we're fairly used to, uh, in this day and age, equal temperament and, and a fairly standard idea of what sounds in tune. Well, Charlie's instrument right here is in an unequal temperament, which means that certain chords and certain notes sound more in tune in a way than our current system, and others sound a bit, um, I like to say they sound a bit spicy. So as part of what I did, uh, uh, I learned a lot about this instrument and about styles of writing, uh, historical styles of writing for this instrument and making sure that um, I was using the right amount of spice at the right time. I also had the opportunity to, to work with uh, Leanne Dale Ragusa and her um, historical flutes, specifically her uh, flute de moray as well as her uh, uh, more ordinary sized flute. These flutes aren't like modern flutes, they're not made out of metal, they're made out of wood. Um, they don't have keys, they have finger holes, so certain things are still possible on an older flute and certain things are impossible on an older flute. But what is really fantastic about working with these instruments and, the, and this player is that there's a, such a larger range of expressiveness and it feels more tactile to be working with this, this wood flute where, where the, the, the player's fingers are actively involved with stopping the air instead of like a cold metal key. And I thought that was really fascinating and I really wanted to take advantage of those, uh, those tone colors as I was writing. Over the course of uh, working for uh, an early music ensemble, I was able to meet and work with a large number of historical interpreters who were, have become fantastic friends and now commissioners of pieces from me. So um, the first one that I met is Charlie Metz. He's a historical keyboardist and he commissioned me for uh, a suite of movements for this instrument right here, his uh, 1600 Italian virginal. Um, and that was just a fantastic experience because it's just such a beautiful instrument, but way more important than that, is that Charlie is such a fantastic player and interpreter of music. And um, I also have written music, um, was commissioned by Leanne Dale Ragusa, who commissioned me for a piece for a Baroque flute de more um, that she had built especially for herself. And again, she is a fantastic interpreter and musician and great friend. So it's been a great honor and pleasure in, in working with these two especially because they have these wonderful skills as interpreters. They're used to looking at um, parchments and, and, and old bits of paper that doesn't have a lot of information and making beautiful music out of that. So they've got this detail, this sense of detail and interpretation that they bring to a modern score that you hardly ever get with um, other musicians. So it's been a great thrill for me um, getting to know these two fantastic musicians and um, getting to think of them as, as friends, not just colleagues.